Welcome to the onboarding video series for Directions on Microsoft Information Solutions, one dimension of the Directions on Microsoft service model. This video will show you how to use the Directions on Microsoft, or DOM, licensing reference set. The licensing reference set is an up-to-date wiki of clear explanations of current Microsoft licensing rules and programs. You can use it to quickly answer your questions about Microsoft licensing policies with confidence. You can also use it to verify what your Microsoft representative or reseller is telling you. Let's start with the first of three examples. Office 365, followed by SQL Server, then Azure. To find what you are looking for, you can use category menus. For example, let's say you need to get up to speed on licensing for Office 365 Enterprise. You can choose the category Microsoft 365 and filter down by subcategory suites and programs, click the letter O and Office 365 Enterprise. Here on one page, you'll quickly get a clear understanding of what is in the E1 suite and additional capabilities in the E3 suite, even more capabilities in the E5 suite, and the capabilities delivered with the F3 or First Line Worker suite. If you don't know what something is, click through to it and you will find out right away. You will also find answers to commonly asked questions such as, can suites be disaggregated? Should we mix Office 365 suite types within a single tenancy? What special discounts are available? For all these licensing reference set entries, we advise that you head to the bottom of the page and check out the related illustrations. An example is suites packaging for Office 365 Enterprise. Here's a Russian doll diagram for each suite showing the different features and capabilities included at each level so you can quickly zero in on the version of Office 365 that matches your requirements. Also, at the bottom of the page are timelines documenting all the major licensing changes you need to understand if it's been a while since you licensed that product. These are the changes for just one single product. Think about all the different Microsoft technologies your organization uses and all the licensing changes for each product. It's daunting. It's impossible to keep up unless you have this tool, which, by the way, will become incredibly valuable if Microsoft decides it's your turn for an audit. This timeline will help you determine what rules were in place when you licensed a product and compare it to what Microsoft or its auditors are saying. Many DOM members have drastically reduced or even eliminated their Microsoft audit bill using these timelines. Let's head back to the collections area on your DOM. Let's look at the licensing reference set entry for the next example, SQL Server. Here you have, all in one place, the licensing rules for every supported version of SQL Server. You will also find information to help you calculate the type and quantity of server-side licenses you will need to purchase for new server machines, as well as information about special cases that may not require server-side licenses. Remember to always check for illustrations and timelines at the bottom of every licensing reference set entry. Here is a link to a diagram that shows you how to calculate the number of core licenses you need for a particular machine under the per core license model for SQL Server. Finally, turning to the last example, Azure, let's see what the licensing reference set can tell us about using the Azure Hybrid Benefit for running Windows Server-based workloads in Azure. We're interested in the Azure Hybrid Benefit for Windows Server, so we will click through to that page. Here you have on a single page, and in plain English, answers to fundamental questions such as, what is the Azure Hybrid Benefit and why should we care? What are the eligibility rules? How can we maximize the value of the benefit? The next DOM member resource you need to understand is Analyst Webinars. Every month, the DOM analysts host a live interactive webinar on topics relevant to Microsoft customers. View this video next, or choose from any of the other topics in this series. 